CNC Masters End User Support Video Tool Height Compensation Using Quick Change Tools This video assumes you are experienced in performing the 0xNY procedure. Review earlier videos for this process. Step 1. Create the program either by hand or using a CAD CAM software and denote the required tools. Identify tools to be used and label T1, T2, T3, and so on. Step 2. Locate and install the Quick Change Tool Holder. Install the tool holder using an open end wrench with the supplied spline wrench and drawbar. Step 3. Begin recording offset values. Install the first tool your program will use. This is T1. Now using the master software or handheld remote, move the cutter to a location above the surface of the stock. Be careful not to hit the stock or jig holding the stock as you travel the cutter. Move the slider associated with the jog feed rate to slow your rate of travel if required. Using a feeler gauge, slowly lower the cutter in the z-axis until the gauge is snug. Your first tool is at z0. Now press the 0z button to clear the counters. Using the master software, or handheld remote, lift the cutter and then jog the cutter in the appropriate X direction until clear of stock. Replace the first cutter, T1, with the second cutter to be used. Wear gloves if possible, the cutter could be hot. This will be T2. Just as with T1, jog the T2 tool Using the master software or handheld remote, move the cutter to a location above the surface of the stock. Be careful not to hit the stock or jig holding the stock as you travel the cutter. Using a feeler gauge, slowly lower the cutter in the Z axis until the gauge is snug. Again, move the slider associated with the jog feed rate to slow your rate of travel if required. Your second tool is now at its Z0. Now look at the digital readout DRO. The value displayed on the Z axis is the difference between the T1 and T2 or offset value. In this example, you will see 0 0.0688. On a piece of paper, record this value. Perform the same procedure using the remaining tools. You will end up with a list of tools and their offset values. You may have up to 10 different tools per program. Lastly, T1 is defaulted to always be 00. zero. Now click Setup, then Tools. Now take the tool offset values you recorded earlier and enter them for each tool. Then press Save. You have successfully entered your offset tool height compensation values. Step 4. Creating the set 0 for your program. After moving the cutter to a safe location, reinstall T1. and position the T1's X, Y, and Z at 0, 0 by pressing the Return to 0, 0 button. Step 5. Setting your set 0.
Be sure the spindle is plugged into the wall. And press the set zero button. When the window appears, confirm by pressing yes. The machine will now move all three axes and record the information on the first line in the program field. Congratulations! At this point you may use any of the tools you have programmed into the master software. Once the machine has returned to its original 00, zero location, you may copy your CNC program below the set zero line. Make sure the Z offset value is zero. The CNC Master's Tool Change Command is a self-contained, automated process automatically raising the quill, stopping the spindle, and pausing the program. Hold cutter with right hand, and with your left, grasp collar, depress and hold button, and twist clockwise completely. Upon pressing the enter button, the spindle will restart, the z-axis will be compensated, and the machine will resume where it left off. Complicated individual programming steps to perform a tool change are not required. CNC Masters End User Support Video. This concludes our customer training video. Thank you for watching.